How did Jason win you over? Can I get back to this one? No, you do. <laughs> do you think having sex before marriage played a part in knowing each other intimately? Oh dear. everyone and welcome back to the husband and wives club youtube channel i just want to say very big thank you to everybody that has shared the video so far all the people that have subscribed everybody that's watched it it's just the response has been really fantastic all the people that have sent me you know whatsapp messages to kind of encourage me and say this is a really good idea linda everything just thank you all so much if you're new to the channel, welcome to the Husband and Wife Club YouTube channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share our videos. Um, one thing is that everybody's kind of asked, you didn't say in your intro video how often you're going to um, do your recordings. The truth is, I just don't know. <laughs> like, I'm a mother of four and I work full time. It's really hard and I just don't want to kind of commit myself to anything. But if you just click on that um, notification button, whenever I do a video, you will be the first to hear about it. So, without further delay, let's get into today's video. As you can see, we've got a very special person with us today. Can you introduce yourself, please? I am the husband of the Husband and Wife Club founder. And who's that? You, obviously. Oh, you're supposed to say beautiful Linda or something like that, you know? Yes, what you said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for today's episode, I've asked some people on my Instagram page um, to kind of answer some questions that they want to know either for myself or obviously about my marriage. And I thought it would be a good idea to kind of set the tone about what this page is really about. And it would be really unfair of me to kind of ask other couples to share their love story and talk about themselves without really doing the same for me. So I very kindly asked my husband to come and sit with me. Are. There is a lot of questions. How, how long do people you have? had a lot of questions. Okay. Um, some people ask like five questions, and I'm just like, just one would do. But there are a lot of questions here, so we're gonna try our best to try and get through as many as possible, and um, without making the video too long. So do you know what you've got yourself in for? It's a lot of questions. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Don't be afraid. So, here's all our questions. You can start. How do you guys keep the romance going after so many years? Okay, I'll let you answer that one. Please. No, you pick. So you start. Okay. Um, out of the two of us, I would say I'm definitely the more romantic one. Um, whether it's appreciated or not, I don't know. You know? Um, Baby, it's too early for this. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> let's, let's go straight in. Because, um, yeah. How do we keep it? So I would say I'm definitely the more romantic one. Would you agree? Yeah, you are. Is that genuine or is that sarcasm? <laughs> because, yeah, this is going That's out genuine. You are more romantic, okay, yes. Right. So how do we keep the romance, how do we keep the romance going? Um, you do all the romancing and I just enjoy yeah. it. <laughs> I, think, I think one year we said um, we're going to do things like anniversaries. We're going to alt uh, alternate and who organises uh, each anniversary. So I did something, we went away to a nice spa break, I think we did, for the weekend, it was lovely. And then the next year, um, we were supposed to do something and we haven't done anything ever since, um, since, the spa, <laughs> since the spa break. So um, uh, it's a good question. How, how do we keep the romance going? <laughs> <laughs> I think we've answered that. So basically my husband organises everything to do with birthdays, anniversaries, anything romantic, he's in charge of it. And I just get told what to be and what time to be and what day to take off work and I just do it. And it works. We need to, we need to, I think we need to do an episode. No, but babe, you're so good at it. So why, no, why change to, it? No, we need to do an episode about this because I don't think it's right that the man is always the one leading the way when it comes to romance. Why not? Because this is a, it's supposed to be a partnership. Okay, all right. So I'll, maybe we'll go I'll, into I wanna, it. I want to feel special too. <laughs> but you are going to, you're enjoying the thing as well. So you are feeling special. Okay. So to answer that question, thank you for that. Um, yes, you've, you've raised another topic for us in the future. When should the wives 
plan something romantic <laughs> is the next is the next topic for the next video. Yeah, okay, stay tuned, yeah? Okay. Alright, so I'll pick the next one. How many guests did you have at your wedding? 250. <laughs> I'll say it on my chest. Yes, you had 250 yeah. um, invited, but I would say there was about 300 people. I would say 300 people. Yeah, about 300 people. So that means there was probably over 50 people that were not invited yeah. who came to eat our food, yeah. probably didn't even say a word to us, didn't yeah. bring a gift. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we were that's, the, that's African weddings, we were, isn't we were watching, it? If we were watching the wedding video the other day, we were just spotting people like, how did you we're even... Like, how did that person get how there? Did get there? <laughs> In fact, going back to the previous question, if we were to do the, the wedding again, um, we would hire security to make sure... That security? I was security. Next, next question, next question. <laughs> What's your favourite memory of dating each other? We have quite a few, actually. Um, some cannot be said on camera. Um, like which ones? Piccadilly Line. Yeah, you can say without going into too much detail. You can say that. No, can't. Can't talk about so well, so basically. No, you can't. Talk about it. Fine, fine. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna go into detail. Okay, fine. Okay, cool. Because now nah, we're not. We can't share that. So Jason lived in Harrow, yeah. and I lived in Wood Green. And obviously, for those of you that know, is the very, very long Piccadilly line, yeah. and is literally from one end to the other. And yeah. I think there's about what. 27 Maybe. stops, I think, somewhere. 27? What, well, you remember? Yeah, I was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when Jason would come and see me, I would literally get on the train with him and then travel on the train all the way to Harrow and then travel back all <laughs> to um, Wood Green. And, yeah, we just don't talk about what happens on the train. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember? This is what I remember. Like, do you remember what I took you to the cinema once? Yeah. And, um... It was in Park Row, and then you dropped the popcorn all on the floor. Do you remember that? At the lobby? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. You know what? I was so pissed off. <laughs> you know why? You know why? Because these times I was, I think, I can't remember where I was working. You, but was you like, weren't earning a lot of exactly. money. <laughs> and then you dropped, the, you dropped the popcorn all over the floor. And I didn't have money to buy me. <laughs> oh my God. So you just had to that sit is there. so embarrassing. And I think you said, oh, do you want some more? I said, no. <laughs> Poverty. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what I said. That's what I remember. But that was an accident. So that's a nice memory. So <laughs> How did you know you were ready for marriage? So I can only speak for myself, and then you can answer yours. But I think for me, um, and I've said this to some of the younger guys that I speak to, uh, for me, it got to a point where you know when you find everything that you would want in a potential wife. It's like, what's the point in like waiting for anything else? Does that make sense? So mm. it's like, yeah, a good personality. Um, obviously, you can cook well. Um, you obviously look very good. Obviously, obviously you look very good. Um, <laughs> you said that twice. Nah, just make it free. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, so when, when you find everything you want in a person, there's no point in to continue looking. So, yeah, that was for me, I thought. Actually, you know what, let's just get this done because, yeah. Yeah, but did you not feel that, like, at that time, were you thinking, what do I want in a, in a wife? And I don't think I was thinking like that, you know. I feel like because we had three so young and we were together all that time, I just felt like, yeah, I was going to marry you. But, like, I wasn't, I don't think I was really thinking... Oh, he's he hasn't got all the qualities I want in a husband. Or I don't think my mind was never in the space where I was comparing qualities. Do you see? What I'm, I don't know if I'm describing myself. Mm. Like I wasn't thinking. Oh, has he got everything? Like I didn't have a a tick box of what I wanted in a husband. All I knew was I was going to marry you. So yeah, but you wouldn't be. That right. was it. You wouldn't marry if I was a waste man. No, but that's the point. Though you were never that. So I didn't have any. Like reservations about oh can I really marry him or anything mm. like that it was just he's a good man he's he's here since we've had a child are very you know teenage years so of course you're gonna marry him what else are you gonna do <laughs> that's a good point <laughs> do you see what I mean like yeah. I don't think I was thinking anything apart from that fair enough yeah, yeah. all right next question how long did you wait before you got married oh uh okay so we got together when I was 
17 and you You're were better 16. with dates, like I can't remember I, I, I know, I can't remember, I can't remember the years, but you were, I was 17, you were 16, together for two years, had to ring. Yeah, we got, yeah, 10 years, right? Or mm-hmm. just done about nine years. Yeah. And, and I, th- I think when we had to ring, we were under pressure to get married straight away, which was never, ever going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. If, but I don't think we intentionally waited to get married. I felt like because we had the child quite young, it was just, we weren't ready. So it wasn't like, oh, let's wait and then get married. It was just like, you know, he's a baby. I was still going to college and I had to go to uni and then, you know, I had to look for a job. So it was like, there was stuff that we still mm-hmm. wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Plus we didn't really have money anyway to get married. Yeah. So we still had to kind of wait till we're in a better position to, you know, actually afford to have a wedding and actually still care for mm-hmm. the child that we had already. So it wasn't really like an intentional, let's wait to before we get married or anything like that. Mm-hmm. It's just something that just kind of happened. All right, so I'm going to pick the next question, which is where and how did you meet? Okay, shall I go? Go for it, yeah. yeah? You chose the answer. Okay, so um, we met at church a very, 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 very long time ago. I was how old? Sixteen. Yes. I and you were and you were seventeen, yeah. and he took advantage of me. Not true. He did. <laughs> Not true. If you yeah. Want to, do you want to tell the, the the full story, or do you want to save it to another episode? Because we all know that you liked me first. Proven, I can make a phone phone, phone a friend now and uh, prove that. Right. We're not phoning no friend. Okay. You, you love to pull that card no, okay. so many times. Okay, it's fine. All right, so yeah, that's how we met, really. And we're gonna just because there's so many questions, we're gonna try and speed it up. If there's anything that you want us to expand on, just leave us a comment below and we can expand on it more. Yeah. Right. What's both of your ideal date nights? Anything Jason organizes. <laughs> Okay, that's the answer to that question. <laughs> Do you miss anything about being single? I wouldn't say so because to be honest, I just don't really remember ever being single because we met when we were so young. We've been together for like, how many years? 20, Three, 23, 24 mm. years. Like, so I can't actually remember being single. So I guess no is the answer. What about you? No. The right answer for me to give. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't. No, not being married. No. If you got married again, what would you do differently? Um, we wouldn't spend as much money, hundred uh, percent. Yeah, we wouldn't spend as much money. We spend a lot of money for one day, That's and true. I don't think we would do that again if we if we were to, to get married again. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna spend that much money again. Okay. Uh, what's the secret? You're both so happy from an outsider looking in. Uh, what's the secret? I think we have, like we laugh a lot, I think. I think we have a lot of jokes. I think we have a lot of fun. Um, I think because we, uh, we've we got a, a, a young family as well. So we've got, um, our, even though our children are spaced out, um, because we've got a young family, we're relatively young ourselves. I think that makes the some home. of us are young. Yeah, you're here behind me. Um, <laughs> I think that makes it. Yeah, I think that's a secret. Just a lot of fun. Yeah, just a lot of fun, a lot of laughter, friendship. I guess if we weren't friends and we didn't like being in the same company and in each other's presence, then it would be really, really difficult. Oh gosh. <laughs> How many times do you have sex in a week? I don't think I'm gonna answer that. And I know who asked that question. I know where you live, yeah. So, I don't know, I think it's a bit too soon. I just need to get to know my our viewers a little bit more before we can share that. Yeah, and the kids watch the, yeah. the channel, do you know what I mean? Like my pastor could be watching, I don't want them to know that. That's true. <laughs> right, right, next question. My mother-in-law, oh my gosh, no. Now, if you work it out, we've got four children, so you can tell it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, cool. What qualities do you both love about each other? Okay. I like your drive your determination, your go-getting attitude. I like the fact that you set up this page and I know something that you've wanted to do for a while. Um, yeah, and I love your loyalty. Oh, any yeah. more? No, no, that's enough. Oh, more, 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 so more. each other. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you know what? I just, sometimes I love the way you're just calm about things because 
for those of you that know me, I can be like a little bit out there sometimes. <laughs> just a little. And you know, when I'm really upset about something, I just mostly love the fact that you're like always trying to calm me down and always trying to get me to see it from the other person's point of view. And most of the time I'm just like, I don't care about the other person. This is about me. But it kind of just helps me you know, figure out my thoughts and obviously do see it from the other person's way. So I completely love that about you. I love your calm nature because obviously in, and I think that's the reason why we probably lasted that long because we kind of balance off each other quite well. Mm. Otherwise we'll just be a loggerheads all the time. I think it's because you just ignore me most of the time. <laughs> yeah. How do you maintain your marriage? Because I know it's difficult. So many divorces now. Uh, I guess, I don't know, we, we might have answered that. Mm, I think we've answered question. it. Yeah. Because, yeah, I guess with, with the fact that we have, try and have a lot of fun, we laugh together, um, I, I try and organise date nights, um, you know, shots fired. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess just keeping things fun and try not to stress about every little thing. You should, to be honest, I just think we just... I don't know how, but we just do it and everything kind of just fits in. Yeah. And I feel like it's just because we both have come to the understanding that there's no way out of this marriage, really. You're here and you're stuck. So just deal with it and make it work, I guess. So, yeah, that's it, really. How did he propose? Yes, Jason. Tell us, how did you propose? The next question. Um... <laughs> no, 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 no. How no, but we, did you we, propose? We, we covered that on our intro video, right? No? Yeah, yes, we did. What intro video? The intro video? Oh, no, we didn't do the intro no. video. No. Okay. Uh, well, it's the question to you. How did I propose? We're going to do a special video okay, like that. Okay, excellent. So stay tuned. Um, do you believe in the notion that being in love is not an adequate foundation for building a successful marriage? I guess that's kind of mean that there's more to marriage than no. loving each other. I think that's true. Yeah, it's not an adequate foundation. Um, hmm. I think he helps, but to be honest, I just feel like you're not always going to be in love with that person. I don't know. I think I think we could I think we could actually do an episode about this because you could even add a cultural element to it. Mm -hmm. Because I know so many people who may have been born and brought up in other countries, and love is not important. What's important is to get married and mm -hmm. to have children, and that's it. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas I guess where we grew up, I think love is fundamental that we would yeah. never put together yeah. in the first place. Um, but it's, it's a very good question. Um, I think it's deeper than a 30 second answer. Yeah, true. We'll get back to this in another episode. Uh, are there times when you feel like giving it all up? I would honestly say in all our years of being together and married, there's been one time when I seriously considered just saying I don't know if I want to be I don't know if I want I do I want I don't think I wanted to go as far as a divorce I feel like I just wanted the break yeah I don't know about this time no should I, I know about this time <laughs> was this yesterday <laughs> when was this it's right now <laughs> no I mean it was a long I think it was a really long time ago and I was just like, I think I want a divorce. I don't know if I can do this. I don't even, like, thinking about it now, I really can't tell you what happened. But you know what? You kind of just go through that stage, which for me, personally, it was just a brief moment. And it was just like, I woke up the next day and it was just, bam, business as usual. Let's, let's do this, do you know what I mean? And that kind of quickly just went. And I don't think I felt like that since that time. Camera, I, <laughs> uh, have I, I? I have felt like that. Have you? Yeah. Um, when? Unbelievably, it was actually um, before we got married. <laughs> like you know, in the lead up to get. When, <laughs> sorry. Really? Oh yeah, because we were arguing about silly things like flowers and like, <laughs> like. But that's like, normal like, for no, engaged couples no, to argue like about things and, for the and, wedding and, and color schemes and and all of these things. I'm like, this is long and proper arguing. I'm like. Is it even worth like this whole hassle? Is it even worth the hassle? Um, obviously, it has been worth the hassle. Um, but that's the only time I really thought about it. 
Wow, so you actually wanted to end it before we even started. It. I, I was thinking, is it even worth it? Like, what's like, what's the point of this? Like, what's the point? What's the point? Well, I guess it's good that you haven't, you know, felt like that since we've actually been married. So that's a bonus. Yes, yes that's true. Yes. Okay. How did you know that Jason was the one for you and vice versa? Mm, I think we've yeah, we answered yeah, that. Yeah, I think we've said yeah. something like that, isn't it? Which good question, good question. But good yeah. question, yeah. I think we've done that. What was your first impressions of each other? Oh gosh, Jason loves these kind of questions so much because yeah, he, he thinks he was so no, hot no, no, back no, no, in the no, day, no, no, yeah. No. No. So let me, Look, let me do that. I'm gonna pull out one of his pictures and I'm just gonna show you lot. Then we will see about who was hot. Yeah, but, oh. yeah, but you've been married to me for fifteen years. So what are you talking about? Anyway, I didn't have a my choice. My first impression. <laughs> uh, my first impression. You did. My first impression was um, she had nice eyes. Um, she had. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. Nice eyes. It's, it's not for it's not for TV. No, go on. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, my first impression is that she was very attractive. Was like, That's it. You were, you were nice. Okay. Very nice. Very very nice. <laughs> That's nice. He was nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my first impressions of Jason. I would say, I don't know, it's like, okay, let's go. I don't know. Let's you're just, you were just like really, what do you mean, that's a question, I'm doing mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm like, you know, leading up to it, I'm oh, getting right, there. Right. I just don't want you to get big heads, so right. I have to like try and tone it down, right. isn't it? Right. <laughs> right. But I don't know, you were just like, I just like the way you just carry yourself, isn't it? Like, you were just like, I did not walk like that. You did walk like that. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> that's what you that's used like to some walk. Sort of, some sort of and then you were really, really skinny. I oh my skinny. gosh, you I were so skinny. 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 Like you were really skinny and then you had this head like on your skinny no, no, body. No, this, this, hang on. This, what, what's the question again? <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking of getting the question. Next question. <laughs> what the hell is this? What's the next question? Nonsense. This silly idea was it? Whose silly question was that anyway? <laughs> anyway. What was the first film you ever watched together? Oh. To be honest, I was too distraught from the popcorn, so I can't even remember. I can't remember what No, do like. you know what? Did we go and watch the Flintstones? Was that no, not? No, it wasn't me. I don't know who you're talking about. It wasn't me. It was you. It was not me. Why would I watch the Flintstones with you? <laughs> it was not me. <laughs> what did we go and watch okay, then? Okay, let's go and do another episode of who you went to watch the Flintstones. Ah, oh, whatever. Um, what did we watch? I can't remember. It was a very long time ago. This was like over 23 years ago. Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember. It wasn't like, I don't know, I can't remember. Sorry, guys. Sorry. If you won the lottery, what's the first thing you would do? It's a great Ooh. question. It's a great I question. think we'll go on holiday. First thing, no, pay off the mortgage. Okay. Hold no, on, would you go on holiday and then come back and then pay off your mortgage? No, take care of business first of all, then enjoy life. It's I just, fun for that. Yeah, no. Just go on holiday, man. Book a holiday. But I think it would be a family holiday, like, everybody. Well, it depends on what you want, though. Like, if it was, like, half a million, then <laughs> not everybody's coming. Um, <laughs> half a million is a lot of money. Yeah, I've got friends. Oh, my gosh. So what is the first thing we'll do? Pay off our mortgage. Yeah, so I'll probably pay off the mortgage and you'll go on a holiday. Leave me to pay off the mortgage. <laughs> How many children do you have? Um, we've got four. You said, yeah. it, you said it like you weren't sure. No, because I was just going to say one is one is an adult, so it doesn't really count as still, as four, really. Like so that. the eldest one is Tariq. We call him TJ. He's 21, 22 this year. Yep. And then there's Isaiah, who's 13. Maya, my only girl, who's 11, just turned 11. And my Joey Joe, who's five years old. Yeah. And the fifth one is just no, on this way. No. <laughs> How has marriage shaped you in becoming the person you are today? It's a wow. very good question. Very good. Who wrote that one? I think this is Mami Sewa. Really good question. Well done. Um, how has marriage shaped me? So, um, two, uh, I'm going to answer, answer that question in two ways. Number one, um, as you can probably tell, uh, we had our first child when we were very young. So I was 19, Linda was 18. Um, yes, we were very young. Um, but that made me grow up very quickly. Um, I'm a guy, I'm very mature. Um, 
really tall. Or something. What, you're immature now? No, 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 I was, was. Oh. Um, but that made me grow up very quickly. Um, the fact that I had a responsibility to take care of, you know what I mean? So that made me grow up quickly and that shaped me. And I, I think we got married at a relatively young age as well, 26 and yeah. 25. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think doing things younger um, automatically makes you more responsible if you wanted to work. Um, so yeah, that, that I think it's probably similar to yours. I feel like we started our life journey quite early yeah. and we were forced to kind of mature quite early. Mm. So I feel like I'm just, I've kind of been responsible all my life and I've had to kind of grow up and, you know, be a mother, be get there and work, get my degree, get my master's and kind of just do all of those very quickly. So I guess that, just kind of our life experience that kind of helped us along in our life journey, really. Yeah. Alright. What aspects of your life are you most proud of? I guess what we built as a as a couple. Um, there was, there, I think for me, there's several things. Having a child so young, um, persevering, getting married, um, having four children, working, buying a house. Being able to go on holiday, I think there are there, there are lots of different things which happen through marriage. Where we we're like, yeah, we've done well there. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I don't, I, I can't say there's 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 one one major thing. I think there are several things um, which I'm proud of that we've achieved together. Yeah, do you know what? I feel like I'm just proud of us for sticking together all these years mm. and just. Obviously, you know how it is when you're young and you're not married and teenage pregnancy. Back in the day as well, teenage pregnancy was a thing. Mm. Like, it was that like teenage pregnancy. Now, it's almost like... Yeah, everyone's it's a teenage. Not- <laughs> <laughs> everyone's pregnant. Teenage. Everyone is pregnant. Do you know what I mean? Like, everyone no, no, gets... No, no, no. We know it's hard. We know it's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, now, it's almost like it's normal yeah. for people to have babies young. But like, yeah. back then, it was like, oh my gosh, you're only 18 and you're pregnant. It was like... Whoa, this big taboo. So can you even imagine how it felt like on our friends and family and church and, church and That's another episode. That's a whole new episode. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like how we were treated at church and the lack of support. I'm just going to say it. Like it was just... So I'm just kind of proud because I just once again felt like we didn't really have a lot of support. Like we didn't have anybody really... We No, we did. We did, we did have support. I think we did have some. Not work. like in terms of like oh. coaching us about marriage and stuff like okay. that. Like we, we, our, we held our parents who were kind of rooting for us and just being like, yeah. yeah, Linda and Jason, Linda and Jason. But I just meant like when it comes to the marriage itself. Oh, advice, advice I, and yeah, advice and that. I feel like I, I would have really appreciated somebody to kind of sit us down and, you know, talk to us about what to expect mm. and... You know, when you have arguments, how to address it. And obviously when you go in there, you, you find your own way and you do things differently, which kind of suits your your marriage and your personalities and things like that. But it would have been good if we had somebody to kind of give us the foundation. And I just don't think we had that, to no, be honest. Just, so, <laughs> how did Jason win you over? Okay, can you be honest with this as well? Don't, don't try and, like, embellish the story. Just be honest. No, no, be, no, 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 be honest. Go on, I'll let you, I'll let you answer. Okay, how did Jason win me over? <sighs> Can I get back to this one? No, 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 no. you answer it now. <laughs> answer it now. Um, the people need to know the truth. Do you know what? Okay, let me just say this. Because we got together quite young, I just feel like back in those days, there weren't really a lot of... Don't, don't. What am I going to say? You don't even know what I'm going to say. You, you, you were just different. You were very calm and, you know, having a child very young, you kind of took on that responsibility. No, no, no. It said, how did Jason win you over? I won you, won you over before we had the child. Yeah. Yeah. Did you? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I feel like you want me to say something that I'm I not thinking to, I, about. I, I just want you to tell the truth. You liked me. You saw me. You saw what you liked. You, you were liked all right, babe. Don't okay, blow it on okay, horn. Okay, but it's true. You liked me. All right, love. Yeah, I, I, heard, <laughs> I heard through sources that, you know, that you liked me. And then I came down to see what who, who, who liked me. And I saw you. And I was like, oh, okay. 
Christmas. So how did you win me over with that? Uh, well, I didn't. I didn't have to do much because oh, you were already won over. It's so, like, like love at first sight. Like, do you know what? It was his light skin. He was light skin, and that's what won me over. Wow. <laughs> Next question, darling. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. How do you manage your time between work, family, friends, kids, marriage, and for yourself? It's so hard. Wow. Very, very hard. Um, that's the toughest part because life is busy, work is a lot, and then you come home and then there's like a wall of noise with the kids and then... He's got an issue with noise. He just wants the kids to just sit in the sofa very quietly and not speak or not do anything. I'm just like, the kids, man, just leave them alone. So, yeah. I'm more happy when they're all just, the house is noisy and they're running around screaming their heads off. And then Jason would just be like, why is this house so loud? And why does everyone have to shout and all that kind of stuff? Because why are you shouting? Like, you're just sitting... Because shouting means everyone's happy. Yeah. Uh, what was the question again? <laughs> Um, How do you manage your time between work, family, yeah. friends, kids, marriage, and for yourself? Yes, I was saying very difficult um, with work and home, um, obviously with church as well. It's it's hard. Like, I think we I think we do the what we do work um, and we do family. Um, I think what we sometimes struggle with is time for ourselves, which mm. is it's mm. something that we probably need to work harder at. Definitely. Um, but yeah, we just make it work. It has to work, otherwise... I feel like everyone is, we've got into a very good routine. Mm. Everyone needs, everyone knows where they need to be, when they need to be there and at what time and everything yeah. like that. So everyone just kind of gets into their routine and we just get into this mold and everyone's like go 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 and then you know at the end of the day we regroup and we kind of have our family time we have our dinner together and all that kind of stuff but as jason said i think it really is about the bit that we're lacking is just spending that time together with our um with each other and um in terms of like the family one of the things that we do is regularly have family meetings and things like that like We've got a little family book and then, you know, we kind of sit down with the kids and talk about what's working, what's not working so well, you know, what they want changing and things like that. I just feel like that helps everybody keep the communication going within ourselves and we kind of have a better understanding of each other. So I just think everyone knows where they need to be and stuff. Um, I guess practically as a mother, it's just like just really being prepared, like, I'm just a very organised person. I like to do lists. I need to know what is going to happen for the week. Otherwise, I just fall out of sync. So one of the things that I do is I plan my meals for the whole week. And I probably spend most of the time on Sunday just kind of doing the majority of the meal preps because nobody wants leftovers in this house and everyone seems to want fresh meals to a different meal each day. So I have to think Monday, you know, Tuesday, all the way to Friday, what are we going to eat? and how quickly I can prepare it as well. Because if I'm working late and I'm getting in at five or six or whatever, I don't have time to be starting meals from, you know, fresh or anything like that. And then after school, that person's got football, that person's got swimming. So it's just about kind of liaising with Jason as well. It's like, okay, well, I'm gonna drop that per um, Azai to football and then you pick him up when you finish work and that person's going to swim in. So it's just kind of communi keeping that communication open and just, mm -hmm. Everyone knows what they need to do. But as I said, I think the main bit that we're lacking is just finding time for ourselves. And it's a work in progress. Jason just needs to plan more date nights. <laughs> All right, next question. Next question. All right. Uh, in marriage, meet your expectations of what you thought it would be. Well, we're still in it. So, um, so, it's, so it's not like it's gone anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, did it make it? Yeah, I think marriage is probably better than I thought it would be. I think we have a lot. I keep saying it. We have a lot of fun. Yeah. Did, you, did you have any expectations getting married? Not really. I didn't. Not really. It just, I guess we're on a journey. Oh. Well, if we're on a journey, we don't know what it's going to be in the future. Um, kind of taking it here as it comes while trying to plan for the future. Um, I think for me, what I would have really liked when I was getting married is for somebody to actually talk to me about what marriage is and what I was getting myself into. Like, I didn't have anybody talking to me about marriage. I didn't have any advice from anybody. It was just like, you're getting married, off you go. And that was it. Do you know what I mean? So I felt like there was no 
expectations because I didn't, didn't know, know I didn't know <laughs> we didn't know what we were doing. We didn't have it, you know, obviously your parents were are still together, so I guess you had that kind of growing up. Mm. But unfortunately my parents are not together. So I just didn't really have that kind of stability around me growing up. So it's just like I just didn't know. So I didn't have no expectations. I, all I knew was I was getting married to Jason, who just happens to be the father of my child, who we were being together from our teenagers, and we were just going and we didn't have no direction, no mentors, no nothing. And you know, I think we done quite well. We're doing nothing. Okay. Still being here. Fifteen years. Considering. Okay. Yeah. Well done. To us. <laughs> What's your advice on the best way to deal with arguments? Oh, I don't know if we should have <laughs> <laughs> it's a sticky one still. I'm joking. Uh, best way to do arguments. I'm not the best person to ask, to be honest. I, I'm, Why? Because I just I can't be bothered to argue. I just can't be bothered. It's just long. I just can't be bothered. Um, and not that you can be bothered. Oh, exactly. But, you but, can be bothered. See, my 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 whole thing is it's it's not that deep. Sometimes it is that deep, but I just. I just to be honest, I don't think we've had any major arguments that is that deep. I a few. At what? <laughs> um, okay, so maybe I should, like, I've got a lot better at this, but normally my way of dealing with arguments was just shutting down and giving him the silent treatment and just, just not talking at all. And it wasn't about, you know, yeah, I'm giving you the silent treatment. It's just because sometimes I just felt like, things were just so much and I just didn't know how to kind of deal with it. So I just completely shut down and I just felt like not talking about it will just somehow make it go away. They just didn't. And then sometimes you go for a day without talking to each other and then that turns to two days and before you know it, it's a week and you're like, whoa, like you've gone through a whole week without talking to each other. And obviously that affects the kids because they know when things are not right. <laughs> If you want to, you know, say something you're like, give that to your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your dad I said. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, you know, you shouldn't do it, but you're like, I'm not gonna be the first one to speak to him. <laughs> but like, I think that's the main thing that I can actually say yeah, that I've had to kind of work through in our marriage, and I can, you know, confidently say I'm not that person anymore. Would you agree? Yes. Can you say that with a um, little bit more vim, No, no, I, no, I agree with you. I, I think, um, to, to go back to the question, um, in terms of advice, for me, I didn't, um, so I'm somebody, I just don't really like drama. So if, if there was an issue, instead of addressing the issue and talking about it, I would just try to ignore it and act like everything's okay. Um, and I used to And really, do you know what? I think that annoys me. I, I was about to say that, but you just- Okay, yeah, go on. And that annoys her. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, that's something which I, I I did a lot, which annoyed her, and, and it's, it doesn't address the issue. Um, so a piece of advice then to anybody who is arguing, just deal with it there and then, and then move on with it. Um, I know there's an old saying is that don't go to bed upset. It's easier said than done because yeah, we've, there's been plenty of nights when her back is to me and my back is to her and then she pulls the cover off me. And, uh, <laughs> I pull the covers off me. All the time, all the time. Um, but yeah. And then there's the times where you just like lie in there and you just badly want to make up but you just don't want to be the first one. <laughs> and you're just like, I wish you would just hold me. <laughs> and then he's just like, I bet you're thinking, I wish you would just like no. back it up a little bit. I'm, I'm, thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking, right, if, if I pull her now, she's just going <laughs> to... Is she gonna See, that's the thing, me? like, you're, you both of you yeah, want to yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, make yeah. up, but nobody wants it's to true. make the first it's move true. to kind of, but like, I feel like now it's, it's just a lot better and you're just yeah. like, let's, let's just not do this, yeah. just deal with it and then just move on. And I think you've got better because you're able to kind of express yourself more because I feel like because you're so quiet, you don't say things and then I just get mad because I feel like you don't care or you're just belittling the thing that you've done mm -hmm. or why I'm upset mm -hmm. and that kind of just makes me more annoyed. Yeah. Yes, so communicate, okay. communicate, communicate, communicate. Talk, talk, yeah. talk, talk. Yeah. All right, so the last question from me, from me is how's life Great as an question. Oh my gosh. Great question. How's life as an intense football fan's wife and three boys that love football as much? 
<laughs> just as much. Um, it's intense, literally. Like when Tottenham is playing in playing football, I feel like they better win because when they lose, <laughs> the atmosphere in the house is just intense, and that's the only word I can use. Like they all just go mad and. You know, when the school, I'm sure like the, not just our neighbors, but like the whole neighborhood hear them screaming. Well, it's just like who's only five by the way he knows all the Tottenham players and he, he asks them any question and he can, he will tell you and he's just as bad as them and I feel like Maya's coming along now isn't she yeah, like she's starting to go to all the football matches with yeah, you guys as well games, she's, yeah. she's like proper getting into it as well and when all the boys are going to watch their match and they put on their you know their what do you call it okay. their yeah, kit yeah. and stuff <laughs> and she gets her ones on as well. So oh, I you just... like it, then, like you like it. The, the the Champions League semi final last. Yeah, last year. but I, is that the one that they had to go on penalties and I couldn't watch? Uh, I don't know. No, this was the one where we can't. Uh, yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yes, it was yeah, really hard yeah, to yeah, watch. That's right. You enjoy it though. Yeah, I do. Like I like this is is our family sport, isn't it? Our family team. Yeah. So like it's still family, you know. Yeah. Spurs all the way. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. But um, yeah, she supports us very well. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Last one from you guys. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Do you think having sex before marriage played a part in knowing each other intimately? Oh dear. Who asked that question? This was Natalie, I believe. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> Natalie putting us on the spot, I'm boy. Wait, wait till I see. Um. <laughs> I don't think no, no. You know, I'm not even gonna answer no, this. I'm just what? gonna leave it to you. So so I, I don't think so. Um because because and this is in, in all honesty, as you grow together in marriage, it gets better. Okay, there we go. Hey. Um, so so <laughs> so obviously it, it was good in the beginning, do you know what I mean? Oh it's my good. gosh, this is so embarrassing. I know, I know. Um obviously it was good in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it just gets better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think we just need to yeah. stop there. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> All right. So, um, thank you very much, Mr. Jason no, Sell, for joining no, no. me. Can I go? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> um, I hope you guys have been able to kind of learn something about um, Jason and I, our love story, our journey so far. If there's anything that you want us to, you know, kind of touch on a little bit more, make sure you comment below and let us know. And we'll do, I'll get him back here again to just kind of uh, um, answer any more questions that you have. If you like it, please share and like our video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel. So we see you in our next video. Thank you. Bye.